Hello and welcome to Binder or the Remarkable Desktop app version 2.3.0. This is the first screen that you will notice when you launch the application. You'll be presented with a login screen uh, which has two fields. The first field is your IP address. The second field is your password. The password is not your PIN that you use to lock your device. It's actually located in a place on your tablet under settings, help, copyrights and licensing, and in a body of text on the lower right. The IP address is found below that. You will have two IP addresses. One of them will always be 10.11.99.1, which is always visible when your tablet is connected via USB. You could have one, another one with 192.00. That is dedicated to your Wi-Fi connection. So if you only have one, it is a good indication that you probably are not, your tablet is not connected to Wi-Fi. So I can actually click this and show my password just to make sure that the password is entered correctly. If I hit connect, it's going to connect to my tablet. Give it a minute. Um, once it's connected, you'll be you'll be pushed to the template screen, which basically is all the templates located on your tablet. You notice the lock icon. This is basically refers to the ones that are shipped with your tablet by default. Sometimes it might disconnect, but you just feel free to log back in and you'll be presented back to the templates section. Like I mentioned, you'll notice that there could be a lock here. This is basically saying that these are the default templates. If you see any templates without the lock, that means those are templates that you've uploaded previously. So let me upload one and give you an example. I click upload. It's going to be it's going to take me to my computer, then I'll select a PNG file which is a image template. So I'm going to select the client tracker here. I hit open and then it's going to add it to my tablet. Any of the templates that are displayed in Binder is a representation of what's on your tablet at the given moment. You see that EP, that little small EP, that's going to be the category on your tablet where you can find this template that you, that you just uploaded. I can also jump around to different categories to display creative. These are all the ones found in the creative tab. If I want to jump back to the ones I custom, I add custom, I select EP, and then I can see them here. I can also do a search. If I type in client and hit enter, you notice that the one with the name client is displayed below. If I double click it, it goes into the template detail screen where I can do other things like change the category, change the template name, Give it a custom category, although you got to be careful here because if you put one too long, the interface on the tablet will not display the category that you added. The template icon, however, is the one, is the icon that shows up on your tablet that represents the template that you added. So I'm going to keep it default here because I like that one. Remember, these icons are not images, so on your tablet, You'll notice under the, the template settings when you're creating a notebook or you're changing the background of a notebook page, you'll see these icons there. They're not an actual preview of the template. They're just fonts, basically. So I'm going to go ahead and, and hit done. I can also delete this if I wanted to. It'll delete it off my tablet. I'll hit done and I'm back to the template screen here. So let's go back into, um, let's look at the screens. So the screens however, are different. Screens are basically the all of the screens that ship with your tablet. You notice you, probably some of them in here are familiar. Like the power off, let's look at this one. The power off screen happens, shows up when you hold down the power button. You could actually change this whatever you want. You could put possibly a logo here. You can put your address. So if somebody steals your, your Remarkable or you know, you're at the coffee shop and you leave it behind, Someone can contact you and, and return it to you. So that's a good way to use this screen. You can disguise the limit though. You can put anything on these screens. So I hit done. If I wanted to change it, let's let it reload. Let's say I wanted to change my power off screen. So if I double click it and then click in here 
and then go to my screens folder. Let's go here and then go to my screens. I'm going to find one. Let's look at the power off. Let's see. I like this one. Let's use power off. It has a, um, a, a cool little uh, spaceman here. Okay, so I'm going to hit done and then it's going to reload. It's going to put it on my tablet and then there's the icon there. So if I want this to show up on my tablet, I have to make sure I restart my tablet or it won't show up. So I'll go ahead and hit restart. This, this particular bump button will restart your tablet. We added this functionality here because um, we did not want you to wear out your power button because if you keep holding it down all the time, over time there's a spring in there and it'll probably wear out your button. So we added this feature here. So I'm gonna go ahead and hit restart. It's going to restart. You don't see it, but actually below my tablet's going to restart in a second and it's going to reload. And then when I hold down my button or if I hit power off on my tablet, it, this particular screen will show up. It will replace the ones that you had previously. So this section here, notebooks, however, is a different section. If I go into there, it's going to take a while because what it's doing is it's downloading all of your notebooks on your tablet converting them to PDF and mimicking the same folder structure you had on your tablet. You see these um, icons here, the one with the PDF, that means that there is this one has been downloaded previously and converted to PDF. So if I click on one, let's click on this. Uh, let's click on one that has not been downloaded. It's represented by this little download icon. Let's see, um, let's click in there. It's downloading, see it's converting to PDF. It's and then boom, there it is. So it said it has four pages. Um, if I wanna open the enclosing folder to see it, um, I click that and then um, there is my template. I mean, there's my notebook that got converted to PDF. So I go ahead and hit done. Here to go back, it's gonna reload and it's gonna reload everything. You notice that there are different type of folder icons here. We wanted to use the same similar interface that Remarkable has on the tablet. If it's black, that means that there's something in it. If it's white, that means that the folder is empty. So let's go back here uh, to, the, to the first screen of the notebook section. And then um, um, let's, let's look at here. Let's look at this right here. This is another feature that we offer. If you go into actions, um, actions are our um, are workflow. So there's different actions you can create. One of them could be, let's give it a name. Let's say save to folder. Okay. And I wish I could spell. Let's see, save to folder. And then let's choose export notebook to folder. Let's use that, action, that task. And then let's select the folder that we want it to go to. So let's put it on the desktop. We're going to create a folder called export, hit create, and then select it here and notice the path is visible here. And I want to assign this. It won't actually do anything until you hit this assign to action button. So I hit it there and there's the one I just created, export to notebook to folder. So I hit say, I hit done and there's my action. So if I run it, um, what it will do is if I have a notebook here and I sign it, assign it to that one I just created, save the folder, uh, hit done and give it a moment. It's going to reload and save. And I go back to action. You notice I have one um, item connected to this action. So if I go ahead and hit run, it's going to run it. So you notice that if I go into this folder, boom, there's the actual um, uh, file inside of that folder that, that the action was applied to. On here, there is um, three little icons. These represent, if, you're, if your tablet is connection, connected via Wi-Fi, if the IP address um, is connected, if it's USB, this will show up, and if you are actually authenticated, this icon will show up. Um, you can always um, view the help from this help icon from any selection that you're in. If you click on it, it will give you a quick summary of what each section does. Um, if I go back into templates and also see the help here, it'll actually give you some help information so that you're guided and you're not stuck. Uh, 
If I want to log out, I can click this button and boom, I'm out. Um, let's log back in though. Make sure your tablet is is actually not in standby mode or it will you get that spinning wheel of death. You don't want that. So whenever you um, call us, if you have a support question, always ref reference this version so we know that which version of your binder app is giving you problems or if you whatever uh, version of binder that you want to have questions about, make sure you'll always reference this number here. This button here is, is another button that is, is very important. You notice like when you update your firmware, right now um, I'm on the latest, but if I um, update my firmware, all of my templates will disappear on my tablet. So this button is, is a very important button. If you press this, it will restore all the templates that you actually installed with Binder. So uh, when you're sitting in a meeting and you're, and you're in a notebook, you open it up and your custom template doesn't exist, open up Binder, click this button, and all of your affected notebooks will be fixed again. So how it works is remarkable, um, your notebooks, when you have custom templates in there, all your notebooks just basically reference the template. It's like, okay, you have it in the background, it's going to say, okay, I it, the event scheduler was chosen for the notebook. It's just a file reference. So when you add this template back on your, your tablet, it then can find the template. So all the notebooks that were referencing this particular template will be fixed again once you restore it. All right, I think this pretty much sums up all the features of Binder. If you have any other questions, reach out to us at support at einkpads.com. Um, we're always available. Um, thank you so much for using Binder and all your questions that you know that you ask us. We we love questions. If you have any other questions, don't hesitate. And thank you for being a part of Eink Pads.